奇跡の炎よ燃え上がれよ君の心に未来のため目の前には闇が迫る Last time on Dragon Ball Dimensions, Jordan, Jaden, and Ron seem to be having a normal life, but sensing a strange power level, they decide to check it out, only to find someone by the name of Yukane, also knowing that Jordan is not from this world. Ron and Jaden gave it their best, but in the end, the both of them could not able to take down Yukane. With Ron down, it was time for Jordan to enter the fray. And unleashing a power in the likes of which none of us have seen before. And with this, Jordan thought he had the upper hand, but realizing and finding out that Yukane had the exact same power within him, also seeming even. What will happen? Find out today! I can barely feel it. Good, so you're stuck there for a bit. Look who came back. Jaden! Ron? Jaden, you need to get out of here! I'm gonna kill you! Jaden, no! <laughs> you inferior piece of flesh. Jaden, you need to get out of here Stay now! With your <laughs> I couldn't even take one gallon of gun. Come on. If your friend put up more than a fight than you. I'm going to make you pay for what you've done. Forty seven times I've heard that. In the same week. And you want to know what happened at the end of each time? Everyone was mutilated by me. Well, that's so, too bad. Because I'm going to be the one to finally defeat you! <laughs> Don't make me laugh! <laughs> Come on at me, you dare. <laughs> Damn you! So how many of his, how many of them is it gonna take? I killed your friend! I don't know what happened to that little brat of yours. 
Oh, don't worry about him. He's fine. So you gave him energy when he was knocked out. It was better than letting my friends die! Uh, well, get used to it! Because once I'm done with you, uh, and him, everything will burn. I won't allow that to- uh, I, You don't have a choice! Uh, uh, I don't care how much blood I have to drop. I don't care what happens! I WON'T LET YOU DESTROY MY WORLD! If only you actually have the power to stand against me. Oh please, I have more than enough power to defeat you! Good one. Just the sheer fact that you can reach this form is giving you too much arrogance. I'm not arrogant. I'm just pissed. I don't think so. Kamehame! Before that it worked. Sit down! No, I'm not down! Not yet! I see how that attack of yours works now. <laughs> <Out of time. laughs> now eat this. <laughs> Gotta admit, that was pretty good. But a simple, basic flurry of attacks can't do anything. Don't get down! Hey, burn! Surprised you've held out this long. I thought you knew me. I am a Saiyan, and I thought we Saiyans never give up. Well, yeah, but you're a ten-year-old and you lack power and experience. Maybe. You're right. But I've gone through more tougher fights than you could ever imagine. Believe me, I can highly doubt that and I can back it up. Come on. Ah! But I had burnt the power you had a minute ago. Come on! Don't call yourself a scared. Shut up!
up much longer. <laughs> Doesn't? I'm not feeling anything other than the poor of my blood. Inside of a weak, failed saying. You're right. I may be weak. But I'm not gonna give up. Not yet. I won't let you destroy this planet. This place will be your grave. Uh. I don't think so. Just because you're stronger than me, doesn't mean I'm gonna lose to you. Not just yet! Wake up! You can't do anything to me! I wouldn't be too sure about that. Eat this! You guard me using several blue black clothes. Well, let me just ask you one thing. Have you actually learned to control the power you're using? How do you think I've been able to sustain all of my stamina this far? Uh, so tell me, exactly how long can you hold that form? Well, I haven't really tested it. All yeah. I know is that it's long enough to kick your ass. Uh, well, we're about to find out your limit! Thousand times over. <laughs> so when did you achieve this power? Um, well, if we're gonna throw that out of the way, around the age of three. Good job. Not many can achieve that. <laughs> but even so, <laughs> don't think. That just because you achieved this at such an early age. But 
that you're any better than any other Saiyan. Well, you see, here's the thing. I, since I unlocked this transformation at such a young age, and I didn't really have much stamina back then, the transformation has learned to cope with my body. Which means, I can sustain this form forever. I have to admit, you can A. Was that your name? Even though I'm in a bit of a situation, I'm getting excited. When will you not? You're saying after all your blood should be boiling. Well, you could say I wasn't quite excited when you killed my friend! <laughs> I was. I... Of course you were. You're heartless. Souls are not meant to have a heart. I thought that's what those... That pride of yours was. Isn't that your heart telling you not to lose? That your pride matters the most? There's a difference between having a heart and having the same pride as blood. They do not love. They do not experience any of that. And for the ones that do, they're eradicated. Along with the rest. Well, what happened to the other Saiyans, huh? Where are they? Dead. You did it. The ones that felt the same emotions that you felt, they're all dead. Who killed them? Take a guess. You did it. It was not only me. There's one other. <laughs> but I mainly did the work. You killed a race? Only the ones that could not sustain their own bodies and power. The ones that felt feeble emotions. You don't deserve the name Saiyan. You don't even act like a Saiyan at all! You're nothing but a traitor! You gonna keep panting or are you actually gonna do something? Come on! Fine then. It's time I end this with one attack! Fine then. Show me what it looks like. Ah, May, Saying after all. What do you mean?
there is another way. Th wait, this isn't goodbye. I have an idea. The Dragon Balls. The dragon, basically, there are these seven orbs that have stars on them. Once you gather all seven, I can summon the eternal dragon Shenron and bring you back to life. That sounds like cheating, but okay. What, would you rather just die here, or would you want to live and continue to fight strong people? I'm not just fighting like you, but I don't think food tastes as good as when you're dead. There wouldn't right. be any food there at all, I think. Really? Oh god, please revive me. I will. But I would recommend getting some training in the other world until I find the Dragon Balls. Not oh, sure, whatever. I'll find some random master. Hopefully you do. Good luck to you. Good luck to you too, Ron. The battle is finally over, and Jordan has emerged victorious with Yukane defeated. But the real battle and journey is about to begin. With Ron dead, Jordan decides to take Jaden back to Master Roshi's place to recover. But Jordan realizes his adventure is only just starting. Jordan must now search for the Dragon Balls in hoping to bring his friend Ron back from the dead. What will happen? Find out! on the next episode of Dragon Ball Dimensions. Hey guys, before the preview for episode 6 begins, um, I just want to give a quick message that um, my nan has unfortunately died of lung cancer. So this episode will be dedicated to Connie Hawkins. This will also be... Um, also dedicated to my, um, family, um, my cousins as well, and, um, everyone else. So, also, thank you guys for your, um, support. Um, here's the preview for episode 6. Thank you guys for watching, and I will talk to you all next time. Hey, it's me, Jordan! With Ron dead, I'm gonna have to start looking for the Dragon Balls. I gotta say, it's quite a nostalgic feeling doing this again. Uh, wait a minute. Who the heck are these guys? Ah, I don't have time for that. Get out of my way! I've got to get the Dragon Balls right now! So I'm going to have to take you down! Next time on Dragon Ball Dimensions, the nostalgic returns. The search for the Dragon Balls continues. Don't miss it.